guys, the police, they're gone. The military, they're not coming either. But tonight, we're gonna show them what being a real scout's all about. We're just gonna stand here, and we're gonna go save the world. What would be your homemade zombie killing weapon of choice? I guess maybe a hedge trimmer. Hedge trimmer? That seems effective. Yeah. Or a spinning axe. We get the spinning knives. That's a good question. <laughs> Um, a, a, here's what it would be. It would be um, pitchforks on some mechanical rotating arm like this. <laughs> so I could, I'd have it like on a, I would have it on wheels so it would hold it up and it'd have a crank like this that would pitch, three of them, which keeps this way and this way so it keeps stabbing. And they're thin enough that you can, they'll, they'll retract easily. That's the key, because if you get stuck with your weapon, yeah. now what? I got a zombie behind me. What am I going to do, start punching? No, I could get bitten. So I've got this this thing going, and uh, I win the apocalypse. Pretty much, and it's smart to make it like a mechanical hand-driven yeah. thing, too, because you can't run out of energy. You can't stab. Uh, uh, and it also be on a, on a uh, I would use a bike chain with gears from, uh, from a 10-speed so I could shift it if I got fatigued. Or I, if I had to really plow through, I'd go with low gear. It would be Augie's weapon. Um, it was the, the door knob shooter. Mm -hmm. um, I, that was one that I was very proud of, and it was really cool to sort of actually build like a working version of it. One of my roles when we were, when we were sort of designing and building the weapons was like, can they be built? Would they work? Um, and they did. Um, and so that one was, was, was pretty cool just because I don't think anyone's ever used a door knob to kill someone. And <laughs> We kill lots of people with doorknobs here. I'd take a propane tank, mm -hmm. I'd roll it into a group of zombies, mm -hmm. and then I'd throw a rock at it, mm -hmm. and it would just go boom. Yeah. Don't you have to have something to ignite it, or the rock hitting the metal would spark? What? I think that if I cut into the propane mm -hmm. and there's enough mm -hmm. sparks going on, I think it would... And a zippo, a rock and a zippo. Oh, I, would, a zippo. I would take a, um, a washer, and then I would uh, mount it on the front of a car, and then I'm gonna put all of these like small blades inside the like circular and things of the washer, and then I'm gonna unhinge that door, and then I'm just gonna hope that they're gonna <laughs> fall into it, and then it'll just oh tatter them to death. Oh my god! There we go. I don't know how you follow that. That's a lot of hope, though. I mean, that's. A I just take a sledgehammer. Hope is all you need. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a sledgehammer. You don't have need. to. You don't have to refill it with bullets. You just right. Keep... Boring. Good old machete. Well, I told you I don't know how to follow that. God, Logan. <laughs> Improv 101, yes and. <laughs> it's a zombie apocalypse. Come on, we're scouts. We're trained for this. What is that? It's a bug. What are you, the Taliban? Stop agitating them. I want a new profile pic.